Women at War in the Classical World by Paul Crystal. Um, so you get some of a little section of their own. Um, some have, um, some are just like right after the other. Um, you get a bit of an introduction slash brief biography of them. That's how I've interpreted how he's set it up. Um, you get some men's account uh, of them, their interpretation of them. Of course, classical world. <laughs> um, you get uh, some different groups of women, goddesses, warriors, wives, daughter, rape, military, marriage ban, women gladiators. So you, you do get a variety of different um, groups that they've been put in. Um, so you do get more um, Greek and Rome. Uh, women, obviously, when, when, like a lot of people hear classically, they automatically go to Greek and Rome. Um, you get an index and an index of women. So, um, so part one focuses on Greece. Two, which isn't a huge um, section, but um, women as victims of war. Part three goes into Rome. Part four goes into warrior women, the arts and entertainment. Okay, um, and then epilogue notes, bibliography. Um, women feature prominently in legends surrounding the very foundations of Rome and constitutional reform. Um, in the year early empire, we meet elder Agrippa, Agrippina, who helped save the Roman legions and her husband's career. Um, and the author mentions any any book tackling a subject such as this involving women, ordinary people in the classical world is plagued with the, the usual problems. Men wrote um, both the histories of Greece and Rome as members of the elite in their societies t tended to write about elite activity and elite men. Women did get an occasional look in, but usually only when and where the they impinged on men and on the activities of men. So to some extent, the ordinary Greek and Roman man and woman is often written out of the history books, leaving us to build a picture composed from very little we have in the way of descriptions of the ordinary ordinary man and woman in other liter literature. So, even at the beginning, the author's like, could be hard. But, um, the author has um, found a decent amount of um, information and stuff to make a decent sized book. So, um, it's 240-250 pages. Um, goddesses in war in Greek mythology. So, in here, like, the, um, name of, like, the, um, woman is, like, bolded and then, like, continues to give information. So, like, Hera, Thetis, Um, but like this one, like this one is about like Helen of Troy. So you'd have a little more information about Helen, Helen of Troy than like um, others. Um, Pyrrhusy and Circe's more than just spoils of war. Uh, the Amazons. So mention of fighting women in the classical world, and many people immediately think of the Amazons. Um, in Greek mythology, the Amazons were. Um, Redoubtable women warriors who commanded respect. Uh, Hippolytia. So it's a very textbook um, setup of like information slash biographies of um, of these like women in the categories. Um, women warriors cataloged. Um, the Celtic woman. The um, Institution women. So there, it, there's a little bit of divided section, but um, uh, 
it's a decent book. Um, War Wave and other uh, artists in the classical world. It's a decent look into um, what information that there is about women in these two worlds. Um, you do get um, like primary sourcing and like some photographs and stuff of um, places. So it's a different look for those who are interested or studying the classical world and are doing something along the lines of including the women's perspective or how they were looked at and categorized. Um, so yeah, uh, women at war in the classical world, happy readings.